What is up YouTube? It's Brandon. Welcome to Trail Spin TV. Just wanted to do this uh, quick video just out here trying to beat the heat man this Midwest like humidity is killing me. I don't remember it being like this in, uh, in New York. It's disgusting. Um, sitting under the gazebo in my backyard. It's actually uh, getting everything dragged out all the camping gear. I was gonna do a video tonight of uh, you know what our campsite setup looks like. Some of you guys have been asking about that. And since we haven't really been uploading any videos lately, I figured, uh, you know, why not get that done? Uh, it's way, whew, it's like way too hot right now to uh, be setting up the tent in the sun. I don't have any shade in my backyard right now. I'm just sitting under this gazebo trying to beat the heat. But um, got a few announcements. Uh, first of all, thank you, welcome to all the new subscribers, and of course everybody that's sticking with us. I know we haven't been putting out any uh, any videos in the past like week and a half to two weeks, so uh, th thanks to everybody for being patient with us. Um, basically, Braxton is in the middle of trying to move into a new apartment, um, doing some freelance work, some uh, some stuff in Chicago to you know try to make up for not working for two months like the both of us. As an update, I, uh, I don't know if you heard of my other video, but I, I, I got laid off as soon as I got back from that trip, uh, back from the uh, Transamerica Trail trip. So right now, just kind of looking for jobs and um, you know, trying to find ways to earn money, save up some money. Uh, I got a little bit of money saved up, but uh, you know, we haven't really been like that inspired to uh, just make videos. We don't want to like, keep putting out videos where we're just kind of you know kicking a dead horse with this Transamerica trail trip uh, we want to bring you guys like some fresh content and stuff like that so um, haven't really been going on any overlanding trips so we haven't really put together any uh, overlanding videos but that brings us to uh, some announcements we are putting some events together uh, July 27th through the 29th we are going to be heading down to Red River Gorge uh, in Kentucky. Braxton won't be able to make it there, um, but I'll be bringing Roscoe down, setting up a Cali's campground in uh, Stanton, Kentucky, and we'll be hitting up the uh, Daniel Boone Backcountry Byway. There'll be a link to the Facebook event page in the description below, as well as if you're an overlandbound.com uh, member, uh, did create a rally point there so you can find information it's the same information that's on uh, Facebook but if you're not following us on Facebook and you don't feel like following us on Facebook you can uh, you can head over to overlandbound.com and uh, you know look up the event information there but basically what we'll do is Friday night which is July 27th uh, we'll be setting up at Cali's campground uh, nice big open space lots of uh, lots of campsites available the information as far as how much the campsites cost and stuff like that is going to be in the event page and I think it's off the top of my head it's $15 for two adults uh, for primitive camping and eight dollars for a single adult so um, I mean I'd recommend making reservations ahead of time but they do have a ton of space we've done some meetups there before and there's never really been an issue as far as being able to fit everybody and if you go all the way to the back of the campground there's uh, a lot of space back there and um, we should have enough room for everybody I mean unless everybody decides they want to come like I mean I mean everybody if you know almost 5,000 of you decide to come to this one event then we're gonna have an issue but uh, I think it'll be cool I think it'll be like nice and relaxed uh, laid-back I mean, you get to hang out with us meet us I'm gonna try to bring some stickers and stuff like that and um, you know just say hi to everybody kind of do kind of do a YouTube episode about it and um, you know Friday night if you can meet us, I'll be getting there around 6 p.m. setting up, so it'll be daylight when I get there. But uh, if you can't make it till the next day, we'll be leaving at 10 a.m. to hit a section of the the bypass trail um, called Spas Creek, which is a nice ride. Uh, it takes about three or four hours. We'll see how everybody feels, and we decide to continue on from there. We can do that. If there's not too many people uh, showing up then maybe we can actually camp like in the National Forest. Um, but I just feel like if there's like 10 or more rigs, it's gonna be way too crowded and we should probably just stick to the campgrounds. Uh, so again, that's July 27th through the 29th. That's Friday through Sunday. If you're coming from far away and you can't make it Friday night, don't worry about it. Just try to get there uh, as early as you can on Saturday. Uh, and um, you know, we'll get set up, we'll get organized. If you have a CB radio, uh, make sure you bring it. That's probably the best way to communicate with everybody. Uh, and if you don't have those kind of communications uh, available, don't worry about it. We'll place you 
you know, in the convoy in a way that makes sense where, you know, everything can still be communicated. You know, I always bring a couple handheld radios with me. I have a handheld ham radio too. So, um, you know, whatever you got, just make sure you bring it. You're definitely going to want a high clearance vehicle. You're going to want some, at least all terrain tires, if not mud terrain tires. Uh, every time I go down to, to that area, to the Red River Gorge area, it's always muddy. It's always wet. Uh, we have no idea how the weather's going to be. So, uh, you know, you, you, the opportunity to get stuck or end up in a situation where you can't continue with us is, is very real. So make sure you come prepared. Uh, don't bring your Prius, leave it at home. And um, we'll see you then. Uh, other than that, other stuff we got planned uh, August 10th through the 12th for all the people around the Illinois, Wisconsin area that have been saying you guys want to meet up. Um, we're going to do the Trans Wisconsin Adventure Trail uh, August 10th through the 12th. Braxton should be there for that. Right now he's available. Um, told him to lock that date down, but if you know something comes up and he has to end up working instead, you know, we got to let him pay his bills. So he's he's uh, you know really trying to save up some money. He really wants to buy a vehicle and um, you know his new apartment and all that stuff and being a freelance worker and stuff like the fact that he wasn't able to make any money for the two months while we were gone um, you know kind of put him in a tight spot so hopefully he'll be able to make that either way uh, I'll be there and um, you know we'll do the Trans Wisconsin Adventure Trail I don't have a I don't have a concrete plan for that just yet I think um, you know, we'll probably just start at the bottom and see how far up it we can go. You know, I've been wanting to finish the trail. I've done it in a, a couple different times in different sections. And um, I haven't made it to the top yet. So there's a part of me that kind of wants to go all the way to the top and then start working our way back down. Uh, but I don't know if that makes a lot of sense for everybody. It's kind of easy for me since I'm not working right now to go up there early on Friday and just start making my way down Friday night or camping at the top by the lake and then and then you know heading down Saturday into Sunday um, you know it takes me about nine hours to get from the top back down to where I live and you know I know everything's not easy for people but uh, I think it makes the most sense to kind of just do a meet and greet we'll all meet up on Saturday morning you know I'll pick a place to camp on Friday night if you can make it early you can make it early if not we'll all meet up on Saturday and then we'll get as much of the trail done as we can Saturday into Sunday afternoon and then head back home from there so that's August 10th through the 12th don't have a Facebook event uh, set up for that yet or a overland bound rally point but um, once the information becomes a little more clear we get it a little more planned out I'll get that stuff up and then uh, the link will be in the description of this video below and also you know if you're not following us on Facebook and Instagram you know other avenues besides YouTube definitely make sure you do that it's easier for us to communicate information faster through Instagram and Facebook than it is to put a video together upload it to YouTube or do a live video and stuff like that um, we don't want to do too many live videos because you know we want to actually make this channel still keep keep the quality up and do actually you know produced videos and stuff like that uh, after that on the schedule we are officially uh, going to be a part of expedition SEMA which is uh, the garage shops um, annual trip from along the continental divide uh, this year we'll be heading from Canada all the way down into Mexico so three countries over the course of 30 days and then ending in SEMA which is October 30th through November 2nd that's in Las Vegas um, I don't believe that we're going to be, uh, you know, allowing people to kind of join up with us. We have like a mission, like we really got to like make moves um, to get from the beginning to the end of that. It's actually going to be tough for us to even do what we normally do, which is the daily, daily upload thing. But Braxton is coming along for that trip and we are going to try to do as daily an upload as possible on YouTube. Um, so keep your eyes open for that. I know there's going to be areas where we're not going to have good, uh, good cellular reception. Um, that Mobley thing that we're using as a hotspot really kind of let us down, and that's that part of the country uh, on the Trans America Trail trip anyway. So we'll figure it out. Um, if anything, we'll end up, you know, making daily episodes and then just kind of uploading them daily. Uh, you know, once we get back and we're able to, you know, have better internet and stuff like that. Um, so once that's over, that's over November 2nd, I'll be heading home to Illinois for a few days and then heading back to the East Coast again. November 9th through the 11th is Overland Expo East. Um, I'm going to be there. I'm going to try to bring Roscoe to that and Braxton, I believe, is going to try to make it to that. But um, again, like, you know, it, 
the dude's got to work, so you know what I mean? And um, I, I currently don't have anything to do, so I'm just going to make all these plans now, make sure that I can work around them, and make sure that uh, we can get out there and, and meet you guys and, and stuff like that. And I know, uh, you know, our haters are definitely waiting for us to, you know, give our opinions on uh, Overland Expo East. Uh, speaking of which, uh, it seems like everybody's still enjoying our, uh, our Expo West video, so if you're finding us now because of those videos, thank you, welcome. Um, if you don't really like our opinion, I'm sorry. Um, you know, we, we just kind of uh, experienced it for the first time, walked around, gave our opinion right off the bat, and you know, some people don't like that, some people do. What are you gonna do? You can't please everybody, right? So that's pretty much it. So, so far two meet and greets planned. One is in about two weeks from now, uh, July 27th to July 29th in Kentucky. And looking forward to uh, meeting up with Kentucky Overland. I know Wes and Rob and uh, Jeremy will probably be there. So can't wait to see you guys. It's been too long. Um, and then following events after that. All the information for everything I just said is going to be down in the uh, down in the description. So you can check it out afterwards. I uh, just wanted to give another shout out to our Patreon uh, pledges. You know, uh, people that are actually like donating money to us um thank you guys so much we uh we have plans to kind of use that for your promotional stuff uh you know we're going to do stickers and t-shirts more t-shirt designs are coming we're going to get more stickers uh you know shout out to roughly 40 of you that sent us private messages on instagram and facebook and stuff like that to uh to ask for those stickers i believe at this point everybody's got them i've got like maybe four left and so by the time you see this video uh, feel free to hit us up on Instagram or Facebook and um, you know if we have any left at that point um, you know I'll send them to you but we're working on getting some new ones and hopefully getting our website a little more up to speed getting some new t-shirt designs on there um, actually being able to sell some stickers or sell some other stuff patches and stuff like that we're working on it um, again thanks everybody for being patient with us um, you know we don't want to keep putting out videos that aren't about what we do right like you know I, I don't want to keep seeing myself on 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 YouTube just sitting in my backyard not actually overlanding uh, just as an update the Jeep is running really well I put the soft top on I've been driving it around town with the top down um, just kind of getting everything situated at home you know I'm making sure all our plans are solid for all the stuff coming up and uh, so that you know that's basically why we haven't been putting out any new videos but um we're uh, trying to figure out stuff that we can that we can do that we can upload and um, man it is hot it's so hot out right now it's like I feel like I'm sitting in a bowl of soup I'm not even doing anything I'm just sitting here and uh, anyway um, a couple other announcements just wanted to give a shout out to uh, to mile marker winches they uh, they approached us ab about um, about a sponsorship and uh, I actually I just ran out to my Jeep to, to grab something out of the Jeep and noticed that there's two boxes sitting on my porch and I believe those are the new uh, 15,000 12,000 pound 15 not sure. I don't remember. 15,000 pound, I think, was synthetic line winch that they sent us. So um, I'll be doing a video where I got to actually pull the steel bumper off the front of the Jeep, take the Smitty built winch off, put the new winch on, put this bumper back on the Jeep, and probably going to have to do all that by myself. Uh, I did it by myself last time. It was actually a real pain in the ass to uh, the, the bumper is like super heavy, especially with the winch on it. So. Um, yeah, we're doing an installation video for that, and <clears throat> hopefully it'll be installed by the time we head down to Kentucky, and then maybe we'll get to use it. You never know. So maybe somebody will get stuck. Maybe I'll get stuck. Who knows? So that's pretty much it. Um, still want to do some live videos, just kind of keep you guys updated, and if anybody's got any questions, you know, you can leave them in the comments below, or uh, you could just wait for our live videos and ask them on the fly. The, the thing about the live videos is we don't, we don't, we're not allowed to make um announcements on youtube yet we need 10,000 subscribers to be able to do that so again follow us on instagram follow us on facebook and that way when we're planning on doing a live video we'll be able to let you guys know ahead of time and then you'll be able to jump in um but you know anyway we've been leaving those live videos up for everybody uh going forward anyway so 
I think that's about it. Um, keep an eye out for the campsite setup video. I'm gonna do that tonight when it cools down a little bit. I gotta, I gotta get the sun's gotta go down. This humidity's gotta break. Something, something's gotta happen. Maybe it'll pour. Maybe it'll rain. Wouldn't that be nice if it rained? Holy crap! Anyway, thank you guys so much. Stay tuned. Keep posted. Keep liking. Keep subscribing. Keep telling your mama. I think we got a lot of mamas now. Like, it seems like we've been getting more and more mamas lately. That's good. Keep telling them. Tell your papa. We don't care. I'm sure he'll like it. And uh, Roscoe right now is enjoying the air conditioning. Uh, he's having a hard time in this heat, but he's doing well. And, uh, you know, if you guys come down to Kentucky, you'll get to meet him too. See you guys soon.